Oh! You thought Mike Pence was stupid, huh? You foolish mortal. The tricks are for kids. End of commercial. Save yourself the false accusations and abide by the Pence Principle today. A link is in the description. What's up, everybody? Terrence Pop here, Redonculus.com, and <laughs> I'm on parole. Wait. Until the two strikes we have against this channel drop off, it is simply just not safe to post full episodes here. Because when your videos have been manually reviewed and are cleared for all advertisers, you can still get a strike for hate speech. Who knew? So if you want to see our episodes, we're going to put previews here with links in the description. And today's episode, and women already know this, dating over 40 sucks. Not that I would know anything about this. So look, space goats is on. Let's just say you're standing in line for an open bar and you're looking forward to doing some power two-fisted drinking. You're standing in this line for what seems like an hour, watching everyone in front of you wet their whistles for free. You finally make it up to the bar. You're like, all right, I want some top shelf whiskey. And the bartender looks you in the face and goes, of course. He pours it for you, hands it to you and goes, that'll be $15. What? <laughs> you look at the bartender and go, what's going on here? Everyone and their mother in front of me got their shit for free. So he says, well, now we know what we're worth. So fork over $15, please. Okay, we have to go with a big fuck off. You spend all your best years giving away all that premium booze. Sooner or later, you run out of stock and people are not going to pay Patron prices for well liquor. The only thing you have left under that bar is <laughs> soldier's choice. And you can't even give that away. That shit is so bottom of the barrel, it drilled a hole through the bottom of the barrel under the floorboards and is now butt fucking the plague rats. No one's drinking that booze, let alone pay full retail prices for a bottle you're gonna take home. And by the time you're 40, what you're selling is already curdled with everyone else's mixers, if you know what I mean. Screen five. Ah! In case you haven't got the metaphor here, I'm talking about dating over 40. <laughs> Not that I know about that or anything else, Beast Ghost. The woman who wrote this article for men is named Sandy Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Wiener, more like sand in your vagina, screen five. <laughs> a dude walks up to you and says, hey, my name is Harold Richards and I'm running this team building exercise. Would you take him serious? I'd be that dude in the background like, hey, uh, Sergeant Pop here. So your name is uh, Harry Dicks. Good luck with that. <laughs> a group of 300 single women what their biggest dating problems were. What they said might surprise you. Challenge accepted, baby. Bring it on. Every time I am not surprised by something you say, well, I'm gonna take a drink. And the dating coach for single women over 40. Gee, in 2020, they have a coach for everything, but still not surprised. If you want to watch the entire episode with the original title card, Links in the description. We might be out of YouTube jail, but we are still on parole. One more community guidelines strike in the next 90 days could terminate this channel for good. So be sure to follow our alternate channels in the description for complete episodes and stay tuned for Grunt Speak Live every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube.com slash Redonculus Pop.